Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Monday movie. I'm Mr. Blue Summers. So this week, um, as per a request, I'll be showing you a fast technique that you can use to put creases onto your models. Um, this question came up regarding a speed modeling challenge entry that I made. I made a, a couch, and I used this particular technique for the stitching between two, um, two panels on the couch. So you get kind of that weird bunching of fabric, and then you get a groove in the middle. So I'll start off with the basic technique, and then I'll show you how I did it as it applies to the couch. So I'm going to apply a Turbo Smooth modifier to a sphere. Uh, add an editable poly modifier to it. So now we have uh, something to work with. So I'm going to select an edge loop. Click loop. And the basic technique is just extruding the edges inward as part of a mesh smooth model. It's that easy. So I'm just going to make this say negative three, the extrusion base width, and make that really tight. Okay, and now you can see right that it's kind of created this this indentation in the model. Um, and if you render it, it really looks cool. So I'm using uh, mental ray ambient occlusion for a fast render, but you can see here right that that it's created a very quick crease in this model. And if you need to tighten it up, right, because it's, it's, uh, it's still pretty open, you can then chamfer this even further. Just select the loop. You can chamfer this even further and make it a really tight edge. I don't recommend using crease because then that creates a perfectly sharp edge. You only want to do that if you're really, right, if your computer's going really slow and you need those extra polygons somewhere else, well, then go ahead and use it. But generally speaking, chamfer works a little bit better. And that's how you create a basic crease. Now on this side, I can show you how I did it for that particular model. I'm going to select loop. And what I need are some extra edge loops around this. So I'm going to chamfer that loop a few times. Uh, I want one in the middle and then one on either side. So let's see, not too wide. This is a subtle detail. These seams are not huge. So I'm going to make it, uh, here we go, about that. Okay, I'm going to select the edge loop in the middle, and that's going to be for the groove. So we're going to extrude that inward. Not too far. And we're going to make a really tight extrusion width. Right there. Okay. And then for the, for the rest of the crease, where the two fabrics come together, they tend to bunch up a little bit. And that's where whoever made the couch, right, will stitch those seams. So I selected each of the edges on either side, selected the loop, so now we have it all the way around, and I extruded that outward, like this. So I'm going to extrude that out. And it needs to be, like, too far out. It needs to be so far that it, it doesn't look right um, to about there. Because what happens is then, once you click OK, you then chamfer that back down again. Only with one segment. Don't use two segments. Chamfer that back down. And that flattens it out again. And then you get that, that awesome uh, effect. So I'm going to click OK. Turn the Turbo Smooth back on. And let's take a render and see what that looks like. Well, it's a little tough to see with this ambient occlusion material. Let me, let me sort of massage this into something else here. I really want to show you what this, what this looks like. Okay, and okay, disable the material override. Great, let's take a look. So right, it's very subtle, but it's there. And that's what really makes this technique a lot of fun to use for things like furniture, um, clothing, you could use this as well, especially those big leather jackets that those rough and tumble characters like to wear. Thanks for tuning in to another Monday Movie. You can find all of my Monday Movies as well as tutorials, resources, and downloads at my website www.mrbluesummers.com.